From now until the final primary contests on June 7th, the nail biter on the Republican side is whether Donald Trump manages to amass 1,237 pledged delegates or not. That's the dividing line between a conventional GOP convention, I mean, as conventional as it gets with Mr. Trump as the nominee, and a chaos in Cleveland contested convention. The next big prize on the calendar is Pennsylvania. Senator Ted Cruz and the Stop Trump movement should be Quaker stating in their boots about this one. Trump's nearly 20 points ahead of his closest rival, Mr. Cruz. The state's got 71 delegates, making it the seventh largest delegate prize in the country. But in PA, anti-Trumpers could easily end up triumphant. That's because no matter how well Mr. Trump does there on Tuesday, the most delegates he could possibly get towards the 1,237 goal is a paltry 17. That's fewer pledged delegates than a tiny state like Hawaii has. That's because only 17 of Pennsylvania's 71 delegates are bound delegates, meaning they're bound to support on the first ballot of the convention a particular candidate. The bound delegates are allocated on a winner-take-all basis by Pennsylvania's statewide vote. What about the other 54 delegates? Pennsylvania is what's known as a loophole primary. When Republican voters there pick up their ballots, they'll see their choices for the presidential nominee, that's for determining the statewide winner and those 17 bound delegates, and they'll also see names of individuals who aren't necessarily well known, even locally. These are delegate candidates. Each of Pennsylvania's 18 congressional districts choose three of them. And get this, it doesn't say on the ballot whether these delegate candidates plan to support a particular candidate. They're just names. Mr. Trump's rivals, knowing Mr. Trump will likely win the pledged statewide delegates, are focusing their efforts on supporting the campaigns of the unpledged delegates they want to see elected. If Mr. Trump reaches 1,237, these 54 unbound delegates will be, in effect, irrelevant. But he and we won't know that until perhaps the wee morning hours of June 7th. That's today's campaign calculus.